and I watched Westbrook play very, very well, but he couldn't keep three goals out as Dominic Baji scored twice in that one. And we're underway. Good vision on that pass from Brandon Cervania. Trying to find Ariola on that backside. Didn't quite get it there. Cerio to Pomacol. He'll switch play. Ariola on the left now. Back to the middle. Back post. And it's 1-0. Hunter Obrey on the flag is raised. He thinks he has scored. But the offside flag has gone up. 99.5% are good goals. Go ahead and celebrate. That's Hunter Obrey. Bono to hold for a moment. And now he's going to go over to the monitor because if, as you said, that view was accurate, which it clearly looks so, it didn't even look like it was so, close. Pretty sure they're going to reverse this, and he's, in a second, Jared Marufo is going to turn around and point to the spot. Interesting to see also that that was... Point to the midfield spot, that is. That was Paul Ariel on the left. They switched. Ariel started the game on the right with Obreon on the left, but they switched very quickly. Now this one, now there you go. All right, the celebration begins. Hot Air Obreon will go to the corner. Herrera trying to take the turn down. Get back Obreon. And he got the pass all wrong. As it goes back to Cervania, deflected, and it's pushed over the crossbar by Bono. Now Ferreira, a nice little ball from Cervania, brings Ariola forward. He tried to return it. It was blocked. Ariola left-footed effort. Oh, man, that one just missed the outside of the left post, almost tucking in that top corner. There's only so much information you can take in in a moment anyway, so I like it as to as an approach there. Obreon tried to thread one for Ariola. Gets a touchdown for Ferreira, and it's in! Right between the legs of Alex Bono, Jesus Ferreira gets his first goal of the season, doubling the FC Dallas lead. We'll see if we can figure it out there. Wonder if maybe Ariola was offside as that initial pass comes off of Jesus Ferreira's foot. So maybe Ariola's not offside on the injury ball, but as soon as Jesus Ferreira touches that, that's where we might have an issue. One way or the other, Jesus Ferreira opens his account. We talked about it. Eight goals, nine assists last year. Very well could have been a hair offside. And yes, indeed, that one will not count. So Dallas had one goal disallowed and then changed. Farfan defending. Nelson from his left wing comes in to look for a pass. And now Schaffelberg has that space on that left side. Throws it to the middle to Flick. Back post. And Toronto is equalized. Jonathan Osorio in the 45th minute, right before the end of normal time, comes down on the right side and buries it to make it 1-1. The marking is a little loose as Osorio. In the discussions for possibly being part of the midfield trio. I wonder if you'll see Pozuelo move a little bit farther forward. He goes down, and we have a penalty as Pozuelo is in the box on the ground, and Jair Marufo points to the spot. Now the ball bounces up and hits the hand, but I think that's after the, if there was a foul. No, it's going to be taken away. So, Martinez is vindicated. And we have some movement down on the touchline. As it goes out to Achara, looks like FC Dallas is ready to make their first change toward the back post. Jimenez had a free header and he misses it. A glorious opportunity for Toronto FC striker. We've not seen Toronto play a lot of balls short here in the second half off goal kicks, but now a chance for a counter. Down the wing, Obreon with Ferreira, left foot off the outside of the netting. He just missed, and he had a charging and Sabalang on the back post. A pass by El Metcar, can't quite get through from the block on Schaffelberg, and that's it. Jair Marufo brings play to a halt tonight, and it's all even. 1-1, FC Dallas and Toronto FC, they share the points each.